This is a demonstration of a simulation model that replicates a Materials Requirements Planning, or MRP, process for a manufacturing system. Simulation for supply chains can be used as a cost-effective platform to plan finished goods delivery more effectively and use as an Integrated Business Planning, or IBP, tool. Simulation models can do this by replicating business processes and logic, as well as predicting better quality lead times for finished goods. ERP is built on Manufacturing Resource Planning, or MRP2 logic, which is ultimately built on Materials Requirements Planning, or MRP logic. The result is that ERP lacks two essential components for planning and they are variability and capacity constraints. Advanced Planning and Scheduling, or APS, can impose capacity constraints, but it lacks the ability to capture variability and is limited in incorporating process complexity. Simulation is the best option for replicating the real process. It is the business system's digital twin. In this model, there are three production sites, which are Ames, Austin, and Greenville, that are interconnected to produce finished goods, widgets, and gadgets. Ten subcomponents represent the bill of material, or BOM, for both finished goods. The user may add additional production sites, distribution centers, and warehouses, as needed, all through an Excel interface. Within each of these sites are production steps that process the subcomponents used to make widgets and gadgets. Each subcomponent is developed at its own respective site. The model is designed around a pull system where independent demand, which is also a user input, triggers an order to a production site. This order then causes consumption of the bomb and then causes a cascading series of shipments and processing of subcomponents. Each shipment and production step has a batch quantity and time range associated with it. Outputs of this model are inventory level, cycle time, and dwell time. But myriad statistics can also be tracked, such as service level, work center utilization, and throughput. Detail about each subcomponent order is also collected that includes its demand, safety stock, inventory, and ship date. This has been a demonstration of a data-driven supply chain performance model by Mosumtech.